Back to business now. Let's go to Comsec. Tom Petrovsky, good morning. How do the markets open up today? Uh, Pete, we're going to see a loss of uh, close to three quarters of a percent for the ASX 200 when we kick off later on this morning, reflecting the weaker tone that we've seen for both US and European markets overnight. Uh, it's been an interesting session, Pete. There have been opposing forces working at, at the same time on the markets. Uh, for example, in the US, we have seen stocks sell off for a variety of, of reasons. We've seen um, big banks warn of the potential for a moderating uh, growth pattern over the course of the near term. Uh, so the leading financial institutions in the US got marked down quite aggressively. Uh, at the same time, there's a concern that because of the better economic news that we've seen in the last couple of days, uh, particularly activity in the US services sector, that the Fed might overcook things in terms of rate hikes. So uh, that's sort of opposing that trend lower that we saw for interest rates last week because they were of the mind that perhaps the Fed might pull back on its aggressive rate hikes because of the moderation in inflation. But as we speak right now, we've got the Nasdaq down by 2.3 percent. The S&P 500 is down 1.6 percent and the Dow is down by 1.3 percent. Uh, in Europe we saw weaker economic activity uh, on a range of fronts. Construction activity in the, uh, Germany for example fell to its lowest level since the beginning of last year. Uh, Long-term interest rates fell. We saw the German bonds fall to their lowest levels uh, in around uh, uh, three months. Uh, and that is a, a reflection of uh, the belief that growth is going to slow. So European stocks got sold off pretty briskly as well last night. Uh, the German DAX down by around three quarters of a percent. So, uh, as I said, we'll kick off well in negative territory. Thank you, point. Tom.